What's going on, Kicks Gang? It's He Kicks back with another video, and I got something really, truly exciting a sneaker that I've never actually put my hands on before that goes for the colorway and the model. Something extremely new to the market. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it in advertisement, but probably not too many people wearing them. They were just released, and I'm super, super excited to get right into the package. And I saved this one for you guys. It is in the original shipping box and I have not seen them we are gonna go ahead and open them together got my trusty knife and again as usual making sure that I'm careful so that I don't damage the box or the materials underneath of course as you can see I've got that tamper seal tape that they have there to make sure nobody's messed with the box and try to retape it or mess with the product inside the box in any way, shape, or form. And there we go. And once you see the box, you'll know the company, and you may even know the sneaker, but who knows, we'll see. So, we got a receipt here. I'm gonna show it quick, so hopefully you don't see the company. And the sneaker that I got, and the box is a little banged up, but I'm not too worried about that. This is a Puma pair. You guys don't get a chance to see many Pumas in my collection, so I will show you a little bit of the box. It is kind of neat. Um, all Pumas don't come the same. You've got your Puma tag here on the outside along with the Puma and the logo there. You've got the Puma and their kind of, I don't know what you would call this, their design, their, their version of the swoosh here on the side. You've got the Puma with that little white patch there. And then you've also got the design, that kind of swoosh and the Puma design there. And then another cool thing is on the back, they basically have a whole set of different size charts and just kind of things of that nature as far as sizing in different countries and stuff like that. Um, and with the box, you guys might know what it is, but I'm guessing most of you probably don't at this point. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I was able to pick up the Puma Clyde Court Disrupts. And let me go ahead and pull these out of the box, get both of them out of the box nice and neat so that I don't mess up the paper. And then we will get into the review and a little bit of the history behind this sneaker. I am really, really excited. So here we have it guys, I'm taking a quick look and they are pristine, the Puma Court Clyde Disrupt. This shoe initially came out in 1934 and was just the Puma Clyde. Um, and basically what it was is Walt Clyde Frazier was a gentleman that played basketball. He was super good at running up and down the court and stealing the balls from the other guys that were playing on the court and they made him a shoe. It was a shoe that he wanted to that he wanted to have designed that would be for a little bit of a wider foot. So I'm guessing he had a little bit of a wider foot. Um, and they basically designed the shoe for him and they called it the Puma Clyde. That was based off of signing Walt Frazier. Um, also too, this has a lot of ties to the hip hop community um, and just a lot of things that were going on at that time. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, to have these in hand and there's a lot of actual cool technologies and things on this shoe that I want to get into that I will get into um, With the review so you basically start off with a red or orange It's more of a neon orange color Traction pattern as you can see it is a very rugged traction pattern um, These shoes are going to be really good for basketball and I did see Terry Rozier from the Boston Celtics one of my guys was totally excited to see him wearing these. He's also signed by them as well, um, as, as well as a couple other players, Andre Payton, um, and a couple other guys. I can't remember the names off of the top, but basically Pumas, this is like their first pair, first colorway. I think there's gonna be three other colorways that they come out for the uh, Puma Court Clyde Disrupt. Um, and then they're also going to be continuing on with an entire basketball line that is actually headed up by the rapper and producer Jay-Z. So he's going to be kind of in charge of, you know, the models and designs and what they 
you know, what they think they're gonna be doing for future models. Now, just kind of feeling it, it feels a little bit heavy. The funny thing is, the box felt really light. They are very, very bottom heavy, so you can tell the weight that you have is here at the bottom. I've watched quite a, fit, uh, quite a few reviews, um, you know, on-foot reviews and, and, you know, performance reviews, uh, wear testers as one of them. Guys that have actually tried these on court, and although they do feel bottom heavy, that doesn't really translate to court. They also have a really decent stretchy, you know, it's more of a, they call it a knit. It's a knit material here that you have, and it gives you a little bit of room for your, you know, your toes to move around and whatnot, but it's not a really stretchy knit. It's kind of like a crossover between the new Battle Knit 2.0 on the LeBrons um, and more of a stiffer mesh. Um, and I think part of the reason of that is they kind of have this knit, but it's also reinforced underneath. So basically you have that orange outsole and then you kind of have, it's almost like an orange slash translucent midsole. And if you guys can look really close, it has those energy beads all the way throughout the entire traction. And as I'm sure you guys might have seen from the Puma Rocket, it had EVA, it was part EVA and part these energy beads. And from what I've heard, the energy beads are like the closest thing or Puma's version of a boost. So the only difference is the beads are not as tightly held together to make kind of a flat slab. It is a flat slab, but as you can see, I'm trying to get you guys a good view if you guys can actually see through that, but it basically looks like there's a bunch of beads. So when you're kind of holding it like this in your hand, it does feel heavy because like I said, it is heavy on the bottom, but overall, the overall weight is not too bad um, and the design and the shape of the way the sneaker is it kind of reminds me of a Kyrie kind of like a low or mid top sneaker you've got the neon orange or red I'm not sure the exact color let me see what color they got for this what they're saying that red color is they're calling it red blast so you've got the red blast upper with that kind of neon yellow you've got the puma tag pull tag here and then you've got 1973 in the back and for those of you guys that don't know Walt, Fla Walt Frazier when he signed with Puma that was back in 1973. So 1973 was actually the initial induction of the sneaker and since then Puma basically got out of the basketball sneaker line altogether. This is the first basketball sneaker since 1973. So it's been 34 years, a little more than 34 years, 30 something years since they've done any basketball products and they are gonna be getting back into it full swing. You guys know anytime they sign big time basketball players, football players or anything of that sort, they're gonna be getting into uh, a, a lot more in that field. So I'm pretty excited to see it. I've never actually had a Puma basketball sneaker in my hand. I've had a couple of Pumas before. Um, it's not one of my normal go-tos, but I did get the Puma Electrics uh, that came out. Those were really dope. Um, I got a couple other pairs. And then the same thing here on the side too. It's got the 1973 and then the Puma on the tag. And then of course for the collar, you've got this really stretchy knit type collar or sock like knit collar that you see on a lot of these shoes like this. It's gonna help you basically have, you know, a, an easier time of getting your foot into the sneaker. And then of course through the red blast, you have that big black, um, Puma design that comes through, and then you've got the regular color yellow laces. No extra laces or anything like that, as I don't feel that they're really necessary. Um, for those of you guys that are looking for these for basketball, like I said before in previous videos, I am disabled, so as far as giving a performance review, um, it's not something that I'm gonna be able to do, but I've spoken to several people that have already done the performance reviews on them, and from what I've heard, true to size is good. The lockdown is really good, and the traction on the bottom is really deep, rugged, and really good as well. Yes, you're gonna have to wipe every once in a while, but the traction is good both indoors uh, and out. Um, and one other thing I heard that for people playing, you know, basketball competitively indoors and whatnot, if you really want that additional lockdown, he said that 
you know, he kind of felt true to size. There was a little bit of slippage up around the toe box. You might want to go a half size down, but literally guys, that's only if you're going to be playing basketball competitively and you just want that additional lockdown. But for the most part, true to size is going to be the way to go. I love the vibrant color. I'm really curious to see how this new beat technology that they have is because as you guys know I am a huge fan um, of the boost line the ultra boost and pretty much anything that has boost um, and then just something else I want to add this will kind of add to the you know the lockdown and the containment as well your laces come down a lot farther up here on top so of course that's going to give you more lockdown there's really nice padding here by the Achilles heel really thick padding and then the other thing that's really cool is instead of just being knit up here on the top underneath the knit right here and it's hard to see well underneath the knit right there there's actually like I don't know a half inch of padding so when you really wrench those laces down to get that locked down it's not gonna put pressure on the top of your foot like something like an ultra boost would where there's really no protection there um, it's gonna allow you to wrench that down um, and then like I said these laces coming farther back that will add additional lockdown and then as you can see here those laces actually come into a much stronger um, looks like a synthetic leather panel here that comes that wraps back and then you have a plastic cup sole that comes around to the back um, and gives you your structure in the back here and then ends off with the yellow puma sign on the back um, so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the review I don't think there's too much else going on on these you know sometimes simplicity is best just having a really fire bright colorway for the first OG colorway to release is the way to go um, and then of course this is nothing crazy but I will just go ahead and show you the inside the insoles are just a regular yellow insole that says Puma and they are just the typical um, insole they are glued in um, they're probably a quarter inch thick they're nothing nothing crazy nothing special just the typical um, and so, but hey, I'm glad to be able to bring these to you guys. Like I always say, thanks for, thank, like I always say, thanks for continuing to come back. And hey, I finally got a sneaker that's not damaged, not torn, and that I haven't had any problems with. So I'm super, super happy about that. And to go along with these super dope sneakers, I had to get the matching socks. Puma actually has a sock that went was you know came out on release day and matched the sneaker as you can see the colors are the same and they actually do say 1973 on them as well like it says on this back tab um, and these are really 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 soft uh, Puma socks I don't think there's any specific uh, Puma crew crew sock um, and then I'm trying to see if I can show you it's got the Puma there written in orange on the yellow side it's got the orange bottoms and then let me go ahead and grab my knife so I can cut open this piece here and they make these things so impossible to to pull through you know it's crazy all right I think we got it so yeah so really nice pair of socks obviously you got the left you got the right um, it's got that really nice structure as you can see on the bottom. These are great for basketball. They kind of help with lockdown. They kind of have some traction as well that kind of keeps you in the sneaker. And they're also really nice and padded so that you're going to have a lot of comfort when you're using them. And then of course, like I said, one sock says Puma on one side and the other one says 1973. So I had to do it. I had to get them. It's a perfect match, so when I set, you know, so when I rock my fit, I'm probably going to have the shoe, the sock. I might try to see if I can get like a neon yellow or a neon orange, neon orange shirt and wear them with a pair of like gray pants. And then as far as the hat goes, I might just have to go with a plain black or something. And as far as the hat goes, I might have to go with a plain black or something because it's going to be tough to get all these colors to match. But I'm just super happy to have these in the collection. Let me go ahead and lay the socks over them one more time and give you guys one last view. And man, they look nice. They smell nice too. They smell really, really fresh. 
Shout out to Puma. Really good job on this sneaker and I'm very excited to see what they're gonna have coming in the future. This is their first model, like I said. They will have several colorways, but they are gonna be also creating new and improved models, you know, this year and for years to come in the future. And anytime there's any type of competition, it's good for business and it's good for basketball. And when it's good for basketball, it's good for the NBA. And I like that. So anyways, it's Heat Kicks. I'm out.